estate sale um saturday going to an estate sale haven't been to one by this company yet so it should be kind of interesting um had beautiful jewelry in the photos so i'm kind of excited to check it out and we'll see uh how it goes I'm not really sure where to go in i think it's over here so check out this house though it should be kind of interesting So you saw a video of the one estate sale that I went to. Um, that was a cluster. Um, so they ended up um, pulling out all that jewelry or had all that jewelry out. And um, I went like around the corner to another room and wanted to look up some of the prices on some of the stuff, kind of get an idea if it was a good idea to get some of it because it was really expensive, even at 50% off, it was super expensive. And the minute I came back around the corner and decided to get some pieces, there was a guy that had decided to pick up, like basically cleared the whole table. Um, I ended up with one necklace and earring set from that whole estate sale. And I was so, flipping frustrated um it was awful i was frustrated so um i ended up like just getting the one set i left um there was another estate sale that i decided to go to that looked from estatesales.net it looked like it had a lot of jewelry um it was a half an hour away i got there there was nothing like i got one necklace but like it was not worth a half an hour drive um, so I was just, it was like a boss. So, um, I ended up deciding, you know, uh, not to film that estate sale because it was like, just, it was cold. It was all outside. Um, and it was just nasty. It was like a nasty little house and I just did not want to film there. Um, and it was just really awkward there anyway. Um, and then, so I was just frustrated and on my way home, um, there was this little like antique mall place and I'd always been wanting to go and I just decided it's like an antique mall craft mall and I decided to just like er, you know like like veer into that parking lot and go um did not intend to film didn't end up filming filming I should have um and end up getting a, a kind of a nice like mini uh, haul. Um, so I'll show you guys what I got there and I'll show you the couple other pieces that I got very mini haul today. Um, but I was very frustrated, you know, I mean, I guess like that's, uh, like a life of a reseller, life of a thrifter, you know, not every day is going to be a good thrifting day. And today was definitely not a good thrifting day. Today has not been a good thrifting week. Um, I stepped in a Salvation Army earlier this week and, um, there was no jewelry at all. And I was looking at clothes because I do vintage clothing too. And there was like, I got, I think, a nightgown and a pair of pants. And that was it. It was just a, not a good thrifting week. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's good weeks and there's bad weeks. And this has definitely not been a good week. So, um, but this is like a decent mini haul. So I'll show you guys what I got. So for the piece that I got at that estate sale, this is what it is. This is um, RJ Graziano. It is a beautiful crystal um, necklace, uh, faceted black crystals um, with some smoky crystals and black glass beads. They said that, the, that this is jet, but 
this is just, I think, just glass beads. Multi-strand. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, these are the earrings uh, that go with them. Nice little shoulder dusters. I love the detail in the, um, in the I guess, the top part of the clip. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, these are, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous set. And this is an RJ Graziano set. Uh, very high-end designer from, costume jewelry designer from like the 1980s. Um, very popular back then. Super, super beautiful set. So very happy that I got this. I would have liked to have gotten more, but um, yeah, it was just, it was a cluster. And, you know, it was, I don't know, I'm, it was a little stressful and you know it's it was it was just a lot it was a lot so i don't know it's hard for me to justify getting pieces at this point i guess in my reselling um career i guess um that are hundreds costume jewelry that is hundreds of dollars when i'm just not sure if i have that clientele yet I have some people that will buy that but I just don't have I don't know that I've got enough um I don't know what would you have done would you have I mean it was a great deal and I know some of those pieces do sell for hundreds but you know I'm just starting out going full-time and I just don't know if it would have been worth it so I don't know do you guys think I made a mistake let me know so it must have been a necklace kind of day because I did find a lot of necklaces. Um, so this is what I found. I'm pretty sure the point side goes up on this necklace because, or maybe not, I'm not really positive because if you look, I'm trying to get this to focus, the bezel side is a little bit more decorative so I think the point side goes up or maybe not I don't know so I'm not positive but this is a pretty little AB necklace that I picked up um, graduated AB crystal single strand um, very pretty little necklace so this is what I got at the kind of like I don't know, not that great estate sale. This is the literally the only piece I got. So, hmm, I don't know. Not really, not really the best estate sale, but this is pretty. These are glass um, or crystal. Um, really, really pretty necklace. Um, so, I love AB, so I saw that it was AB. The price was right, so I grabbed it, and I'm not mad at it whatsoever. So that is that piece. So pretty happy with that one. Okay, next up we have, um, this is when I went to the um, antique mall that I happened to run across. And, you know, I live in the city. There's not like there's a whole lot of antique malls, but this was there, so... Um, Okay, so this is a really pretty little Sierra Coventry brooch. Um, it is marked, it's pretty large, and really kind of kind of a cool little Sierra Coventry. So there's that one. Um, next was this really cool little cherub pin in like a gold, matte gold type of finish. Um, really different, not marked at all, but I love anything in this matte gold. I feel like it's kind of elevates it, makes it look a little bit nicer, and kind of takes it takes any jewelry to that next level in terms of making it look a little bit more rich. Um, but yeah, I love the cherub, and it's pretty. And next. These earrings are super pretty and no um, marks on this, but look at this. It is like a, it's amethyst crystal and this really pretty like 
opaly silvery cabochon in the center with a large amethyst crystal here and then the amethyst around the cab um not marked again not marked and this really does seem like it should be marked but no not marked and i might have to google image this but what's cool is that there is like a iridescent I don't know what they use, like an iridescent um, something in there. Makes it look very opal looking. Super pretty earrings there. Um, these earrings, another AB, super pretty AB set of earrings. Um, these are screw back. There's two pink stones and then the rest are all ABs. Oops, got a little hair there. Um, rest are all, all ABs and these are screw back and really, really stunning. I mean like the just intense, intense fire in those. These are not on the side marked of at all, I don't think. The pink stone. Now, ooh, I'm not sure if that would be considered a mark, but I've never seen it like this. But if you look at the side of the pink stone, maybe I need to do this. If you look at the side of the pink stone, do you see how it's like cut in like that? That's got, that's like very distinct. Is that a mark? I don't know. I feel like that could be a mark because that's not a necessary like a way to do a stone. I don't know. And it's on both of them. Hmm. That we might have to do more research on because there's just so much fire in this and quality in the crystal and the screw back is really nice quality so we're gonna have to look at that one very interesting um next we have these earrings very art deco um little rhinestone tail coming off but the it's very art deco and then look at this like they're like very detailed right there too like that's unique to have that kind of detail in the back. So that makes me feel like there's like something. Is there a match? Yeah, just a patent yeah. number. I don't know. Thought maybe we got lucky there. So I'm not positive, but yeah, very pretty. Um, I do have both of those earrings and might have to do more research on that markings on the back, but yeah, I'm not positive. So then I have, I mean, bracelets, like this is a bracelet, really pretty little bracelet. Um, again, not marked. Um, oh. Wait, nope, this one is. Oh, this is a Kramer. This is a Kramer bracelet. Double strand. Really pretty. A Kramer bracelet. And then we have another bracelet. This one has a nice little twist design. Um, nice little clasp on this as well. This one marked at all. Does not appear to be marked. No, not, does not appear to be marked at all. So, again, very, very pretty there. Um, then we have this necklace very like a deco um, with the way that it'll hang. 
Man, this is cool because it's got like a chain on the side. So it like goes up, you know, to here with the rhinestones. And then it has the chain. So very pretty. A little bit more like maybe subtle. I particularly love this one. I love the big, huge stones. Um, I like bling though. Um, so this is, it's like wearing the Hope Diamond. Um, so big, huge stones, graduated. If I can get it, come on, okay. And how pretty that is really nice um faceting on this one not all of these are as like high of a quality but this one is really nice quality no marks on this one though but really nice quality on this i mean you can really see the fire in this really really pretty um next we have this floral necklace i really like the floral necklaces i like something that's got let me be a little bit more interest or something this is really nice. It's a little floral swag. I think, yeah, what does it say? This, I saw that it was marked and it had something on there, but I want to say it just says like lead glass or something. Um, yeah. Or maybe it says Leo. This is Leo glass. Hmm. Leo glass. I have not heard of Leo glass. I'll have to look up Leo glass. But this one's really pretty. I love the floral look to it. Very, very unique. So Leo glass. And then finally, this particular one here, very unique also, um, very Art Deco as well. So that's that, okay. So then I also got some friend mail, um, which I love friend mail because, you know, I've got a lot of friends around the country from like Facebook groups, jewelry groups, that kind of stuff, um, being online who also share my love of jewelry and we tend to trade things or um, buy things when like, you know, sometimes like if, uh, you know, one of us has access to like a big sale, sometimes we'll all go in together and like get stuff, um, send each other pictures. And that's what happened here. She had access to a big sale. Um, she was sending me pictures. I took advantage of some of the stuff that she got, um, you know, so she could buy more, you know, because sometimes you can buy more or get better deals when you buy more. So she bought for me at this sale, too. So um, this is a really pretty, like, black rose cameo. And uh, very unique. Um and then this piece here is just a simple little pin. Very cute. Let's see. And we've got this piece here. Nice little snowflake. I can't ever have too many of those. Same with this one. This one is, is it marked? This one's done in the style of Gripois. It's missing a couple stones. Um, very pretty though. Ow, I like to stick myself. Um, this one's really kind of cool. It is a cam like a cameo, but like a more like almost like a painting. I can't see it. Hmm. Yeah, 
I can't see what the mark is, if it is marked at all. That's kind of cute. So this is a, this is a, like, it's supposed to be a pendant or a pin. Now, I'm not sure if the pin back got lost in transit or what, but it could also be a pendant, although it really should have a different style. Well, it could, I guess, could turn like that for a pendant. Um... I don't know. This is very different. It's um, Rose Quartz, Mother of Pearl, Swarovski Crystal. Very cool, unique setting, um, but it is very asymmetrical and different. So, I don't know if it would be like an everyday thing, but it's cool. Um... These earrings are really kind of cute. They're very, um, like, industrial almost. And then I've got this brooch, which is very cute. It's got the little uh, pearls on the flowers. And this is a... Read it. Jeez, I peed my eyes. I think it says Napier. Pretty sure. No Napier brooch. Um, this is a another Napier. This is a really cool, like, cloisonne necklace. It's got an elephant on it. Could be Indian, maybe. And then these earrings are cute little ones that are vintage. And then finally, this really cute ring goes like that and that is it for all the mail that we got today and all the findings so I hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to subscribe I would appreciate any subscribers that uh, you guys would have for me I would appreciate it thank you so much for joining me and I hope you guys enjoyed my video today